Hey guys, it's ACM for short here, and I thought we should put this uh, part in a little bit of a uh, laid-back scenery. So we're not going to accomplish much progress in this part of the walkthrough, but I thought we should have a little bit of fun. I'm going to do voices, hopefully, more uh, accurate voices, and let's just get a look and see what's happening. So we're going to do a flashback to Peach. What? Say that again. You can't get in touch with Lord Crump. You are correct, sir. We are investigating now. We should hear from at any time. Sir Grotus, please allow me to enter. Yes, what is it? I have a report, sir. The Crystal Star in the Bogley Woods has apparently been taken by Mario. What? You must be joking. What about Lord Crump and the Shadow Sirens? Um, I'm sorry, sir. Unfortunately, Mario laid a beating on all of them. Um, disturbing. This Mario character. What kind of... Speak up, x -Naught. What is the status of the other Crystal Stars? I apologize, sir. Um, we are still searching for the other Crystal Stars. Unsuccessfully, sir. We knew of three of them. Hooktail Castle, Book Bogley Woods, and one in Rougeport. That means there are four Crystal Stars left out there. And we will have them. Keep looking so that Mario won't beat us to the punch. Yes, sir. As I suspected, there's no reason to doubt that Mario has the map. You must. Listen up, you. I want you to keep a close watch on what Mario does from now on. Absolutely, sir. Mario, I loathe you. Alright, so now we're going to do a little Peach and TEC scene, so let's just see what's going on. Um, oh, Mario, did you even read the mail that I sent you? I wonder. I wonder so many things. I wonder how everyone is doing at the castle. Will I ever dance the mushroom ball again? What will become of me? Alright, so um, right here I was kind of unsure what to do. I was looking around. I was trying to figure out how to activate the next scene. So I just went to the room. So you can try what I would do, what I do in the video. But I recommend just going over to the right, uh, interact with the door, and it'll seem that it's locked, and go to the far left, and then it'll open again. So um, it'll register to be opening and right there, and then you go to the right there. Oh, is this TEC's doing again? And um, this whole place we will actually see in Chapter 7. We will come here, we'll be able to walk these halls and see the, the room where Peach was held and all that stuff. It's pretty cool, very interesting, and um, yeah. So we're going to head to the far right and go to TEC's room. Hello, Princess Peach. I'm glad you came. That mail I sent Mario, did it reach him all right? Yes, I can confirm that Mario received the mail. Is that so? Well, good. So what do you want from me today? Is there more you want to know of love? You expressed regret earlier that you would not be able to dance at the ball, correct? Excuse me? Were you eavesdropping? I'm sorry, Princess Peach. I've been ordered to keep surveillance on you. But it's odd when you said that I had an impulse to dance with you as well. How my CPU would produce this impulse is inexplicable. I must find what caused it. Find out what caused it? There's no reason behind such a feeling, TEC. Wanted to do something together. It's part of love. I, I know it. But then again, you are, well, a computer. Princess Peach, please dance with me. Wait. Wait just a minute. What am I supposed to do? You said you want to dance. It's just so bizarre. I mean, how in the world can I dance with you? You have no arms or feet or moves. Would this be an acceptable dance substitute? Oh my goodness, is that me? Did you create that? Well, alright, I guess. So, right here, it's going to go through a little strange dancing scene. Uh, it's where you um, press the buttons that shows on the screen. Now, I messed up twice, even though I properly pushed it. And I know you're thinking, sure, Arrow, sure. But I really did, and I don't know, I just counted it as wrong right there in the very last one, which was an A button. You'll see, but it's a very simple process, so you should be able to do it very I don't know what happens if you fail. I don't even know if you can fail, really. But, uh, yeah. Thank you, Princess Peach. That was very fun. Just a moment. Fun? Is this impulse I feel the concept known as fun? TEC, are you okay? Princess Peach, I will fulfill my promise to you. Please use my communicator. Use the keyboard to send whatever message you want. 
And then there she goes. She's sending a little message. I'm finished, EC. Could you send it? <laughs> the message has been sent. Please go back to your room. I want to analyze the data from this dance immediately. The data that I thought was fun. You're a weird computer. No, you are mistaken. I'm the world's best and only perfect computer. Good night, Princess Peach. Alright, so... That's the end of Peach, TEC, and the x Not Fortress kind of thing. Now it's going to save and we're going to take place in Bowser. Now like I mentioned in Part 10, Bowser's always a step behind and we will see him right now and see what's going on. It's very funny and definitely recommend reading the entire dialogue of the, the whole game. It's, it's hilarious, honestly. It's really funny. <clears throat> Let me get my Bowser voice ready. I'm pretty sure it's just up ahead here. Right as usual, Lord Bowser. We just got word that Princess Peach was spotted in the town up ahead. Good, yes, very good. Then I'm off. These fools don't know what's coming. <laughs> My lord, you're so super. So right here we're going to do a straight up traditional kind of thing. And it literally plays the same music right here. And all you got to do is very, very easy. Um, get rid of the enemies. Grab ham to grow bigger. Two hams will make you have huge height and um, superb like ability, basically like Starman, um, but huge. So yeah, it's really easy, guys. Don't take any problem to it. Once you get to this thing, you just literally walk forward, walk over cliffs, blah 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 blah, and then you get to the nice end where you go. <laughs> and yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. So there's the end. And um, <clears throat> we're going to into the town. Oh, hey, welcome to Petalburg and hide, everybody, hide. Took off. Hmm, what a wuss. Yes, hi, chickens. I have no need for any of you. What I do need, though, is Princess Peach. Now, where is she? Tell me this instant. Lord Bowser, over there. Bingo, Princess Peach. Man, that was easy. I, I found you, my princess. I, Bowser the Mighty Koopa King, offer my greetings. Now, now, none of that silent treatment. You're coming to my castle with me. <laughs> Clearly she's overcome with joy that she's been left speechless. The mind of a maiden is, well, rather complicated. <laughs> ah, ha, ha, I see, I see. How refined, how elegant, awesome. I suppose I could live with a silent princess. It might even have its perks, you know? No! My, my life's treasure. I'd rather die than give up my life-size peach poster. <laughs> Look at uh, Bowser's face. <laughs> uh, that's so funny. P poster? Oh my goodness me, didn't see that coming. Great, just great. Now I look like the huge mighty king of guy who talks to posters. And there we go, that's the end scene for Bowser. Now we're going to flip back over to Mario. And I know the game audio is missing up until that point. I kind of had to revoice this entire part up until this part. So it's very strange, I know. Just go with the flow with me, guys. And here we are. Alright, so here's Mario's part. And this part I'm not going to voice over because I don't like voicing over the Mario's part. I like voicing over the Bowser's and Peach part. And some of the Mario parts will get interesting later. I will voice over the next few parts, so you'll have to put up with that. Um, but, yeah, so what we're going to do since we did the Great Tree and all of its entity, we are going to head directly to the Rougeport sewers and stand on the giant pedestal in the center in front of the thousand year door if you remember correctly how to get there if you do not remember how to correctly get there we can go directly to the left and follow what i do in the walkthrough now right here you're going to get stopped and get peach's message dear mario abba please know i'm fine i'm actually worried about you the fiends who kidnapped me are searching desperately for the crystal stars i'll try to learn what i can about them i'll email again if i uncover anything okay you must know I miss you. Lately, I've dreamt about you in the castle. I hope we spend a carefree days there again soon. Okay. Kind of had to speed read that thing. And, uh, yeah. Okay. 
So we're going to head over to the far left. Now, if you guys are new to this channel, um, you can go ahead and press the annotation in the upper left corner to go to the previous part of the walkthrough or the annotation in the upper right corner to go to the next part in the walkthrough. Um, it'll lead you to, you know, help you find what you want. And if you have any questions, you can go ahead and send me a message. So, um, we are headed to that thousand year door, which is now far to the left. Now, this is the area where we battle the, uh, shadow sirens, if you remember correctly. And we're going to go over here, down into the sewer. Now, the spawn from right here is not too far away from the, uh, thousand year door itself. So, you're just going to go right through these doorways. And Goombella got trapped. <laughs> you're just gonna oh, she just came through the wall. Yeah. So you're gonna go in between these two bars, bars, and then you're gonna kill these two Spinias, Spinias, whatever you call them. And when you're done with that, you can go ahead and um, go ahead and check the Thousand Year Door. And if you don't remember correctly, you can go up on that thing. Now, first off, you can switch to Flurry and blow this out of the way. You can get yourself a nice little hidden badge. It's not too hidden, but it's hidden enough. And um. Yeah, so I'm going to switch back to Goombella. I love having my Goombella out all the time. I don't know why. But yeah. Go up the staircase. Go on this airplane thing. And you're going to press your Y button. And you're going to fly directly to the Thousand Year Door room. Now, remember this place always has this cutscene. That um, always leads with having, uh, you know, the giant thing that reveals the map itself. So here we are. Here we go again, Mario. Let's see that crystal star. So, um, yeah. Now, if you guys played Mario Galaxy, the outer layer of that blue glow um, reminds me of the little star things. I can't remember what they're called. Like Novas or something? I'm not 100% sure if that's what they're called, but I don't know why. It just reminds me of the shape of that glow. I don't know. I'm a loser. So, um, here's that epic map scene. Blah, 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 And it's going to reveal the next position on the map, which will be in the sky in the upper right hand corner leading to a floating city thingy so we will take care of that in the next part or at least getting there in the next part so hopefully you guys enjoyed this part of the Paper Mario the Thousand Year walkthrough it's gonna take us a nice little uh, cutscene to Professor Frankly's office and I will see you in the next part of the walkthrough so hopefully you guys enjoyed this and that's pretty much all I can say alright I'm out PEACE